an investigation of cracks caused by concrete shrinkage and temperature differences in common reinforced concrete breach structures, a visual abstract. This article examines the development of cracks in their widths resulting from concrete shrinkage and temperature differences independent of external structural loads. The study aims to offer a thorough assessment of structural health and aid engineers in devising more efficient strategies for crack management and mitigation. The crack initiation and crack width are analyzed using the tension court model in FIB Modico 2010. Although the reinforcement arrangement adheres to actual LRFD standards for addressing shrinkage and temperature differences, the structure still displays cracking. Notably, the calculated data reveals a significant crack width, measuring up to 0.62 mm. For a given reinforcement ratio, arrangements with smaller diameters and closer spacing provide better crack resistance than those with larger diameters and wider spacing. Using thicker steel reinforcement can potentially limit crack width. However, this approach also raises the risk of crack initiation. Cracks can develop in fully hardened concrete because of cumulative deformation caused by shrinkage and temperature differences. Temperature differences have a greater influence on crack formation expansion compared to shrinkage. The impact of concrete shrinkage and temperature variations on crack initiation and size is significant. Temperature differences play a dual role, including heat hydration during early concrete stages and environmental temperature fluctuations once the concrete has fully hardened. Common cracks in breach structures, such as vertical cracks in piers, abutments, box culverts, or retaining walls after construction, may have significant widths but are generally not caused by excessive loading. The combined effect of concrete shrinkage and temperature differences can result in crack widths that exceed permissible standards for concrete structures. The goal of this research is to enhance existing knowledge and improve the design of concrete structures to resist cracks more effectively. The findings will provide a more accurate assessment of cracks in existing concrete structures.